Hi guys, it's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am about to get ready because I am headed to the beach for a fun little shoot, but also just because I love going to the beach in the afternoon and like the early evening. It is just one of my favorite ways to spend time and like watch the sunset, order takeout to the beach, and it definitely stays hot in California until like late October. So I definitely have quite a few more beach trips left. I am just putting on a bit of makeup because I am shooting some film photos with my friend Claire at the beach tonight because this video and also an Instagram are going to be sponsored by Andy Swim. And Andy Swim is one of my favorite swimwear brands. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite styles in a second once I finish getting ready and then we're gonna head to the beach. Makeup is done. I wanted it to just be really light coverage, glowy, good for pictures, but also it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. And now I'm gonna show you my three favorite swimsuits from Andy Swim, including the one that I'm wearing right now. This is the Jetties One Piece from Andy Swim. It is one of their best sellers for a reason. It is so well made and comfortable. I love the open back, but especially the fact that the straps in the back are adjustable. So you can have the fun open back detail without losing support or a good fit. They also sell both a classic and a long torso in all of their one pieces. So the next one I'm gonna show you is another one piece that is really cute and backless. This next one is their Laguna one piece. And this one is similar to the last in that it has that supportive inner cup, but it has a much higher cut on the legs. So it is a little bit on the like more flirty side and the back dips really nice and low. So it's great for tanning, would be super cute for like a girl's trip, a vacation. I am obsessed with it. And this is in the like white ribbed material. But if you're not a one piece swimsuit girl, they also have really cute two pieces. This is their Santorini top and they're just classic bikini bottom. And I feel like it's really hard to find a like medium coverage, comfortable supportive bikini bottom and they've done it. These are perfect. I wear them all the time with all of my different tops. And I love the knot detail on this top as well as the metal buckle in the back. So you never have to worry about it breaking. I am seriously the biggest fan of Andy swimsuits. I wear all of the ones that I've had for years now, they just last forever. I will have all of the swimsuits I just tried on linked in the description. Thank you so much to Andy for sponsoring today's video. And now we are gonna head over to the beach. Here is my outfit. <laughs> Just wrapped shooting with Claire and I'm now heading home. It was so fun to shoot with her. I feel like we just really get each other. We're such a good team and it was so nice out. We finished with some sparkling water and now I'm headed home to eat dinner and walk Sammy and I am wiped out. I'm so tired. We shot for like two hours and had three outfit changes. So that's a lot. I am getting my monthly facial today. This is also the first time I'm speaking since waking up. Why does my voice sound so low? Um, <laughs> that's so funny. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I went to the opening of a new Air One this week and they gave us a gift bag full of like the most fun random snacks and things. And one of the items was this sunflower milk which I have definitely never tried before. So I thought we have to make a coffee with it this morning. I guess it's drought tolerant. I don't know. Oh, oh my God. I'm wearing like a V-neck dress with this sweater and like the collars just aren't really vibing. I also just, I feel so ugly today. So we're just not, we're not, we're not gonna talk about it. It tastes 
nutty. So it kind of reminds me of almond milk. I like it. I would say that it got the job done. I don't know how much it is. If it's expensive, it's probably not worth it. <laughs> and here is my outfit. I have on that black dress with this sweater from Reformation, some loafers, and a vintage Kate Spade zebra print bag. And I am so excited to relax and have my face cleansed for me. It's the best. Here is my skin after the facial. Not sure if you can totally see it. It feels great. She really kills it with the facial massage. I go to Kathy at Hey Day Beverly. Now I'm going to grab a little lunch at Erwan before I go and get a B12 shot because I am overdue for a B12 shot and feeling relatively fatigued and I get them every month. I'm deficient in it. It really helps with my autoimmune disease. I used my gift card balance to become a member, finally. And then I had a handful of coupons for different things. So I was able to get some gluten-free fusilli and eggs for free, which is so nice. These are Helpful Hens eggs. They're organic, pasture-raised, and have like the cutest packaging I've ever seen. I've honestly never seen this brand before, but I buy this brand's linguine pretty often because it really does taste like fresh pasta, which is something you don't get when you're gluten-free. I got butternut squash ravioli from Capello's that is both gluten-free and dairy-free, which is truly impossible to find, and I miss eating ravioli so much. Erwan is truly like a gluten-free paradise. I also got Siete almond flour tortillas because I think I want to make enchiladas either tonight or tomorrow. And I picked up this jammy tomato hummus from Little Sesame. This is delicious. I've had it before. It's so good. And last but not least, I got lunch. The vegan Caesar salad with tempeh, garbanzo beans, and just like the best dressing of all time. So that's it. Someone has the zoomies. I am making a frittata for breakfast this morning with my Erwan Happy Eggs. They are so orange and I love making frittatas because it's a really high protein breakfast. It keeps me full and I can store it in the fridge to eat for like the next morning. You can add whatever vegetables you want, you can add cheese. And as someone that deals with fatigue, starting the day with a lot of protein, I feel like just is setting me up for success. So I'll leave the exact you know, measurements I use in the description box. But yesterday I actually cleared out my fridge and if I know I'm not gonna use these carrots, I'm not gonna use this onion, um, I like to chop it up and freeze it to help me later when I maybe don't have the energy to do the chopping, but I still wanna cook pre-chopped carrots, onion, and celery so I can make soup this week without having to do all of this prep work and then make soup next week. And then this is what I just put in the frittata. I also will freeze mushroom or zucchini and it works so, so well in the frittata. You like wouldn't even know that it was frozen. That is just one of my lazy-ish hacks that helps me out because I don't always have the energy to do everything, to cook every single meal from scratch. Oh my God. Look at that beautiful frittata. You know it's done when it doesn't wiggle anymore and it's pulled away from the edges. Big news, I finally got a new desk chair. I just picked this one up from Facebook Marketplace. It is originally a Herman Miller sale chair. They're truly like the most comfortable desk chairs and I got it for like a quarter of the price. This is what I had before and it definitely got the job done, but there's just no lower back support and I just finally caved and was like, you know, I need a legit desk chair. It's only day one and I can already tell that this has drastically changed my life. 
I feel like I can finally like sit up straight and that my lower back isn't gonna hurt. This is on like the extreme amount of leaning back. You can adjust it so it's not, you know, it doesn't, doesn't do the whole thing, but I don't know. If you are in need of a chair, check Facebook Marketplace because I got this for $300 which I know is a lot, but they go for $8.50, so. It's not the cutest chair of all time, I will be honest with you, but it's incredibly comfortable. I just got a package from Madewell, so I thought we could do a little haul. I mean, why not? And what would I be doing if I didn't do a haul? I picked up this incredible lightweight navy knit sweater that is going to be perfect for throwing over clothing because it's so light or just wearing with like jeans. It's a nice transition piece. I also got these cute little gold bobble earrings. I have some of their earrings from college that I still wear. I got their low rise, super wide leg jeans. These look most similar to my A gold jeans I wear all the time, but in like a nice light wash. And lastly, I got this oversized striped tee in a small which just looks so comfortable. I love this kind of like grayish green. It's just like a really great neutral. I will definitely wear all of that for sure. Now I'm just gonna have a quick lunch of some tuna salad and get back to work for the rest of the evening pretty much. I don't have a lot of plans tonight. I had to try the butternut squash ravioli. They were so good. I will definitely buy them again. They were worth being a little bit pricey. 